you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. Welcome to the demonstration series for the Smart Zone controller based on a high scale deployment of the 5.2 Smart Zone release. The videos in this series will show you the basic configuration of many aspects of the controller. In this video, we will create WLAN groups and associate WLANs to these groups. Let's get started. So here we are logged into our virtual smart zone high scale. Uh, we have selected the wireless LANs uh, navigation menu there on the left. Um, we're gonna take a look at what we've got in terms of wireless LAN groups currently um, defined. So wireless LAN groups just allow us to group W LANs in a nice neat little uh, order so that we can then apply those to specific AP groups or specific APs um, in the case of you know maybe needing to have APs in a particular location only propagate certain WLANs like guest access and, and things like that. So uh, you can see we've got dem demo domain one and two. If we expand those, we've got zone one and two, and you can see we've got default wireless LAN groups underneath each of those. We currently don't have any WLANs created, so that's gonna be our first step. We're gonna focus on demo zone one uh, for these WLANs. So we're gonna select demo zone one, and we're gonna go ahead and click create to start creating a WLAN. We're gonna create two of them. We're gonna create a corporate WLAN. Uh, so we're just gonna give it the name, SSID, and the password, and choose okay. So that uh, WLAN is now there. And then we're going to create the guest WLAN as well. So let me get these created here real quick and choose OK. And now we've got two WLANs. These will actually by default associate to the default wireless LAN group. Uh, as I was creating those WLANs, I could have specified a different group, but I don't have a different group created. So by default, they go there. Uh, what I am going to do is I am going to remove them from the default wireless LAN group. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and choose edit. And we are going to remove the, uh, the guest and the corp net networks uh, from the selected WLANs and move them back over to available. So we're basically just saying, hey, these are no longer a part of this group. So we're going to choose next. We're going to choose OK. And you can see now that the default wireless LAN group doesn't have any WLANs associated to it. They're not gone. If we select system, we can see that they're still there. Um, but they're not currently assigned to any wireless LAN group. So our next step is going to go ahead and be to actually create the WLAN groups. So we're going to uh, select Demo Zone 1 again, and we're going to click the plus. We are going to name the group. So we're going to name this group Corp. And we are going to grab the Corp WLAN and put it in this group. Choose Next. So this gives us the ability to change the way that the VLAN is being uh, applied to this WLAN. So we could accept the default. Uh, we could set up a pool here. And uh, if a pool was defined, we could select that from the dropdown list. Or we could specify to tag the VLAN on this particular AP and, and apply that here. We're not going to change either of those. You can also change the um, NAS ID, so the attribute that is being used to identify the AP to a radius um, authentication. Uh, we could change this to a user divine value, but again, we're not going to do that for either of these WLANs, but you do have the option when um, putting a WLAN into a WLAN group to modify those. So we're going to choose OK here. And we're going to create one more. We're going to call it guest. And we are going to move the guest WLAN over to it as well and choose OK. So now you can see what we've got under demo zone one. We've got corp, default, and guest. Selecting the corporate uh, wireless LAN group, we see that the corp WLAN is associated with it. If we select the guest wireless LAN group, the guest uh, wireless LAN is associated there. And if we select the default wireless LAN group, you can see that it has nothing. We removed both of those, so uh, nothing is showing up there. The next step is going to be to apply these wireless LAN groups to access points or access point groups, which we will do in an upcoming video. Thank you for taking the time to view this brief demonstration. We hope you can view additional videos in our Smart Zone 5.2 series. Mm -hmm.